Life goes up and it goes down. Hey, I'm Sasha. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, it is a new episode of Double the Trouble. And yes, the teens are aging up. Oh my God. I hope you enjoy the episode. Thank you for watching. So if you remember last time, we sent Zaven to school and we sent Crystal for her last day too. Melo is just starting out his morning. You know, he's taking care of baby Rock. Get meal. Okay, yo, I'm nervous. What if it's just like, you know, his school acceptance? Ah. Please, I pray that you cook food well. Please. Please, Avon. Mellow, sorry. Alright, 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 alright. What is this? It could just be gifts from the family. Let's see. Oh, what is it? Bills? I got bills already? The hell? I'm gonna have their birthday party not today because today's the last day of school and I think the perfect thing for them is that Shakira and Rob are gonna take uh, the three kids to campus and they're gonna go <gasps> oh my god oh my god what does this mean acceptance letter <laughs> wait right, Melo is in university he just doesn't know what school to go with so today after school the parents are gonna take them to the campus we're gonna go on tour we're gonna see what school is better you know because I think Mama Shakira and Papa uh, Roberts they both have experience in these schools um, and then also there's an illegal way to invest money so I think Melo is gonna try to invest money not yet right now he's kind of like burnt out from the situation so yeah he's gonna go ahead and do some research on the universities himself because he's actually one foot in the door um, the other kids in his school are not gonna go in university for the summer they're gonna be doing internships they're just gonna either go on summer vacations like Arai's dad's getting married everybody's just having their own uh, interesting unique experiences for the summer and you know crystal's working at a place that's gonna have her oh foxberry institute okay let's see so foxberry is consistently rated as the premier university foxberry institute boasts a modern campus with impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have in emerged as an innovative leaders in their respective fields the university is always looking for students who dare to dream big okay so organizations there's the fox Foxberry Spirit Squad, the Brainiacs, and the Bot Savants. Degrees, Art History, Communication, Culinary Arts, Drama, Fine Art, History, Language, and liber Literature. Then there's the Distinguished Degrees. Biology, Computer Science, Economics, Physics, Psychology, and Villainy. Okay, so I think he wants to either do, like I said, um, some sort of communication degree um, or Fine Arts or Drama. He's so really inspired me feeling confident good about himself oh i'm so proud of you okay so it says university of brightchester the university of brightchester holds nearly a millennium of history within its traditional halls of learning having taught every type of student from royal to unknown the university prides itself in educating both minds and morals molding students into well-rounded and upstanding sims ready to enter the world and make a difference organizations brightchester spirit corps art society the debate guild degrees uh biology computer science economics physics psychology villainy and there's the dis distinguished degrees art history communications culinary arts drama fine arts history and language and literature so in my opinion i think he should do the distinguished side in this time in this instance where um he could do um a drama and i guess communication or fine art yeah either or interesting one school doesn't consider it their distinguished and one school does okay so he's like oh there's a lot to think about. So right now, I think he's going to go ahead and cash out from his uh, mod and see if he made some money. I don't know if legally he's allowed to do it yet. Yeah, cash out. 1,000 simoleon. Oh, he's about to hit 10k in the family bank. Ah, okay, so he's going to go ahead and... Um, I remember somebody was saying that they wanted to collab with him. So he's going to go ahead and respond to a DM. So this DM saying, can you make me a moderator? I will try to get 
I'll try not to get power happy. There is one person that I want to ban though. Maybe somebody's really hurting Melo's feelings, you know? And this person's protective. I'm gonna let you do it. Let's go respond to one more DM. Can you tell me where you get that top from when you're wearing in your stream? Oh, um, sure. I feel like you'd be like, yeah, I got it from the place that I work at retail, you know? My girlfriend actually works there now. And it's a really good place. Like, you should ask for Crystal. She's so talented and like, she knows everything that looks good on people. Like, she's so good at it. And I know she wants to definitely do something that would help with her fashion and she's so so good like i 100 recommend her just ask for crystal stevens yes she's good not him hello sir why are you knocked out oh baby i'm so sorry daddy's asleep hey baby boy i love you so much you know that right such a good boy congrats on landing that sweet job oh are we gonna be co-workers hey nice to meet you crystal wants to invite penny home oh you want to fight her what's tea why crystal above all the sims and you don't even feel great about yourself you're moody all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get her to take a bath but why pe i'm sorry i'm gonna ask that all day like if you're thinking about your nephew say hi to him he's awake go talk to him go make silly faces oh he's going to football forget football it's the last day of school no more football he's gonna be like hey penny did you actually come here to be nice you know, he's going to ask the questions, so... He's so going to be like, you just here to do homework? Like, what's the tea? Like, hey... Close it, close it, She's like, close it. whatever happens between me and her, it's between me and her. We're friends. At the end of the day, we understand each other. Well, if that's the case, why did she look like she's mad that she invited you, you know? So, I think she should... I think they should have a deep conversation. Like, what the F was that message you sent me when I was pregnant? <laughs> I don't think that was right. I feel like Penny's low-key like, oh, why wasn't I invited to the meet the baby party and like all the cheerleading girls and some of the football guys were there like i feel so left out and i'm just like girl if you're gonna be mean to crystal like that's the consequence you're not gonna be invited to events that crystal hosts and crystal had to check her on that you know and penny's like okay well i'm sorry i do not want to be on your bad side and crystal's just so meaty you could tell this is not the time that maybe penny should be here so i just had to tell her go home you know the twins' parents made out a road trip drive to Evergreen Harbor and they're even making a longer trip to Brightchester. And they want to take the twins and Crystal to see the campus, see where they want to choose for school, where they find a home. You know, obviously, Crystal and Mello are going to choose the at home option and go to a campus that's like in their area, quote unquote, compared to like Zavid, who more likely might go to campus and live, you know, in the dorms. We're gonna go to the Foxbury section of campus. Right now we are at Shakira's campus and <laughs> she is moody. So y'all, Shakira is leading the pack. She's showing them the Foxbury yeah, Institute. And if you don't know, Rob graduated from Brightchester. So he's definitely a little bit of like a, oh my God, y'all are so dang moody. I'm gonna erase it cause y'all need to get out of your feelings, okay? All right, so right now we're looking at the campus. We're going to go upstairs, see what's up here. You know, she's just trying to say this is where you would study, you know, write notes, eat your lunch. You might have to spend all your days here. Oh my God, Crystal crashed on the floor, y'all. Oh, poor baby girl. Down him? Oh, yeah. better, honey. The boys are like, why are y'all doing that here? He is fried. And I bet his mom <laughs> want to cuss him out. But, you know, he's just saying that I studied all night, mom. I promise you I didn't do nothing weird. Flirtatious day at school oh wow okay i guess he was chatting with sammy sloan you know so let's go get university info so he needs to find out about class grades okay crystal's saying one second i'll be back it's her trying to do homework girl get here so he's finding info out crystal's like hmm let's see if i could find out um if they have anything for fashion you know so she's gonna try to get information on the enrollment Wait, not, yeah, not him trying to copy what his parents were doing. It's my first time, I think, witnessing yeah, them do this. So this must be <laughs> Melo is in love with her. Wait, who's this? What are you doing here, Alyssa? Your, your dad's bringing you to campus today, too? Oh, my God. Her eyes are just, like, glowing. She's like, whoa, like, thank you. Look, I look at us, campus. We've got our own jobs. I know you're proud of yourself. Oh, he got a sentiment. He says, it really means a lot that you make time for me. She's like, what? No, I should say that to you too. Oh my God. Campus babes. I really feel like that's what she's probably wrote on her campus. Sorry, on her Instagram story or something like, oh my God, I'm on campus tour. 
Uh, Shakira. Shakira's feeling very focused. She's like, this tour is very good so far. I mean, my kids aren't that much misbehaving. She's really trying to get her homework done. Hun. It was the last day of school, but I guess she's trying to educate herself, you know? She's just like, listen, I know what you're doing. You were doing something weird. He's like, mom, I'm about to be an adult. Like, tomorrow okay my birthday is right here and he's even like oh like mom's just being weird like i'm just not listening to this so he's like mom being weird she, i'm not listening to this come on mom let's have uh, some spirit our birthday's tomorrow all right we aging up we're being young adults you don't have to worry about us she's like i mean that's the positive y'all stressed me out not dad working out dad calm down She's like, okay, well, we gotta go to the next campus, your dad's campus. It is getting dark out here, so let's go. So we're gonna go to the next campus, which is dad's campus, you know? I know Shakira's like making a little key, like a little snipe con. I'm like, uh, that place? Whatever. You, you bright? Really? That ain't, it ain't all that. I could tell you that. Okay? And Rob is like, excuse you, Miss Foxberry. It ain't all that there, too. And he's like, there's history and she's like there's technology like <laughs> them just being like playfully jabbing at each other but like slow dancing and being cute <laughs> all right so i feel like they're all so hungry please tell me there's something to eat here oh my god okay you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have shakira bring them all here together and then we're just gonna go grill some food together because like we're all so freaking hungry um yeah, so let's go ahead and make some food. So she's just gonna go make some shrimp. And Rob's like, yeah, well, you know, my campus has the better grill oh, anyway. That Everybody was... knows that. So I'm not hearing it, Rob. Okay? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's even laughing. He's like, I'm gonna let you see this. Oh, okay. The kids are sitting here. The dads and mom are going up somewhere else. It's like, bro, Terrible. you need to take a shower when we go home. He's like, I know. I was working out today from school and I barely took care of myself. Y'all was hogging the bathroom, about to pee myself. I don't think us three could ever really live together like that in that tiny apartment. And he's like, well, you know, bro, you could stay with me for the summer at least. Um, and Zayvon's like, oh, I don't know. I think I miss Willow Creek. They're eating this cute little shrimp that Shakira made. But he's getting their hunger together. We're gonna do that little campus tour next. Mom oh, they're sitting together. Why are they so cute? Oh, I love them. Oh, and it's excellent quality. He's like, babe, you're getting better at this cooking stuff. She's like, yeah, like I've been doing like a seafood course. And I don't know, I feel like I might learn more about it than after school. I am about to graduate soon anyway. Come on, wake up, wake up. She's like, wake up. Your, your parents got something for us. So they're like, okay, let's go. Let's go see this area that they're talking about. They're all looking at it like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, he's like, this just takes me back to the days that i used to be here oh my god i haven't seen this in a long time i cannot believe now i'm here with my own kids wow time flies by oh it does rob it does oh, they're like zayvin uh, was like that, is it that bad holy oh my god it's like oh, do i really smell that like that for rebel oh my god i think she's gonna yell at him okay because i think that the reason why they kind of had an argument and it hit me was because i think she kind of knows like you know that this investment was bad and that we shouldn't invest again he's like look he's trying to close the subject a little quickly like i don't want to talk about that Let it's like well i contacted miss best sterling and she said she had not given us any money so how, how and where on earth Thanks. did how you find that money Melissa. okay and he's like oh, um it, it, uh, baby honey uh yeah. <laughs> he's like hun please hear me out okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i wasn't fully honest about the um the information on the money she's like okay where'd you get it from he's like well honestly she scammed us and we did something bad and she's like, what is this bad thing yeah, i like from dope you don't want to know because you're gonna have a different opinion of me oh. like, it can't be that bad i would love you regardless mm -hmm. Come on. You better spill it. Because I want to know everything. How does he feel? He doesn't want to tell her. <gasps> he walked away. He said, excuse me. She's like, what can it be? It can't be that bad. Like, I love this guy. This is the father of my child. <laughs> Let's go interrogate him. Okay, we gotta figure this out. She's gonna say, I'm sorry, maybe if I came at you pretty hot. I was just like, I felt like you were scamming me or something. Like, or you're, you know, please, can you just tell me the truth? 
to Roy. Okay, he said he's gonna tell her. Okay, tell her the truth. One second, let's go. Oh my God, he's starting to smell. He needs to go. All right, so I think he's just gonna tell her the truth. Ooh, he's gonna apologize to her for how he talked to, you know. Aww. He's like, look. It was a cloudy day for me, okay? I didn't make enough money. I felt like there was a storm upon me. And I have a child. I made stupid decisions. I sometimes play around. I act like I'm out going outside doing errands. I'm not. So like, yeah, I kind of noticed that. But like, is it that bad? Like, sometimes I want to just leave the house and just not be around you. And it's not a bad thing. I mean, you're doing it to me too. Zini. He's like, well, I know, I know. But like, I came up with a bad idea with, you know, the help of some amazing people that i respect she's like spill this idea i don't know why they're kind of like not facing each other but that's why i'm doing this she's like spill it you could tell it's me like he's like okay well we stole it back from her guys. she's uh. like uh-huh uh, yes. yeah and the cops were about to get us not a sentiment gain okay so she's smiling at him she's like well the cops didn't get you right and he's like yeah and you're never gonna do this again Said, yeah i don't know well let's see if they if they argue then it could go left he's like i'm sorry for not being honest about that she's like oh my god it went up right before his birthday conflict resolution she's like okay i want you to be honest with me and i don't want you to do stuff like that behind my back if you're gonna do something sort of criminal rock is your son and i don't want to lose you you have to tell me you have to come up with a big plan you shouldn't be impulsive again i'm not for criminal activity i don't think that is the right thing to do at the end of the day that lady was doing shady business and there's legal ways to make money um having a job and of course if you ever make your own money stock and he's like i don't even know much about that and she's like well i'm sure all dads know about it maybe you should talk to your dad about that and figure out how to get into stocks because i'm sure you know you guys live in a nice decent home there had to have been a reason why they're all sticking up my camera i'm sorry y'all <laughs> But yeah, she's, so she's going to say, I'm sure your dad can help you with that. I really don't un understand much. But, you know, my dad did do it before, but he lost money. But it was still legal. And at the end of the day, it's uh, it's worse when you lose it from somebody that you feel like wasn't doing the most illegal practices, you know? And he's like, well, I thought best was legal. She's like, honey, welcome to Evergreen Harbor where everybody is trying to take your money as easy and as quick as possible and you just made yourself an easy target to her now i'm not gonna lie like i really wanted to let you lead in this instance like because you know i was pregnant i'm tired i have a baby i just can't always like micromanage everything in your life you know but we shouldn't destroy our well, lives over it either you yeah. know what i mean it's like you're right you're right <laughs> let's go home babe i love you so much she's like yeah let's go <laughs> campus is pretty oh she's like my man i love him yeah, y'all, here's a little look. Sorry, I didn't give y'all a baby frock spirit, a proper look. It is the next morning, and I think Melo might get his acceptance letter in the mail. Let's see. We are sorry to reform that Melo has not been awarded the Future Star Scholarship. Oh, I'm so sorry. They're going to regret it. You know, you were kicked out of drama club. Uh, a lot of people doubt you, but you're really talented. And at the end of the day, you got this. So we're working on the birthday cake. And y'all, one of the kids wants to go to Brightchester. So here's the Brightchester cake. And the Foxberry cake is being made right now. Oddly enough, he has a really good skill with cooking. Um, I kind of remember it though. So he was cooking when he was young. So he's really talented. I got him a new bassinet. I feel like that's what daddy did for him. You know, he's like, oh, I got money. I want to, of course, spend it on my son. Which obviously he's going to do that. He's such a good dad. You know, bless him. Even though, like, of course, at first he completely wasn't here for his kid. Which was weird. But, you know came around in the end okay y'all i'm trying to get my cakes to not be you know oh she trying to clean it up oh hon you're so sweet all right so they're trying to grab some breakfast did you eat yet hon oh, he did okay yeah he did yeah she did clean his plate okay so everybody's clean we're gonna put on our party outfits i didn't do any outfit kind of thing per se because they have a lot anyway so like i've done way too many for them not to wear any so yeah She's going to be dressing up in the bathroom, so I feel like she's just like, you know, uh, pampered up. So um, hopefully you have a cute party wear. Oh, this is cute. Um, for her, also, I feel like she's discovered what university she wants to go. Pon pon. Okay, conceal that acne, honey. Get this party started very soon. We're going to have your fellow classmates here. Oh, I'm so proud of you, my baby girl. You just look so stunning in this dress. Oh, let's get a selfie for her. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Selfie makes her sit on the floor. So let's try to have a 
good area where it looks like at least she's taking a selfie with her kid or something you know what i'm saying um because i have a, a, a override that does it's like floor and floor poses all right yeah this i think this is cute this is kind of fun oh she's like wow well, like i don't think i've dressed dressed up to this extent in a while like this is how i meant to always look i know that i in this situation it's not gonna be long i'm gonna be like coming up you know we're gonna go ahead and register to i guess their university so like i said uh for him he's gonna start automatically he's gonna go to brightchester like his father um i know it's so random right like you'd think that he would be like his mom but i don't know it just surprised me too i'm not gonna lie i didn't expect that so he wants a distinguished degree in the drama okay so he needs to be either an actor a comedian or an internet personality at the moment it's summer he's only gonna take two classes for the summer oh he was awarded a scholarship but he, the one that he wanted he wasn't so maybe in the future we're gonna work on our skills to get more you know in discovering university you're allowed to go sit on a skill class so he's gonna be working really hard oh my god he's so handsome it's my baby so i guess the next video we're gonna be working on is makeover well actually no yet yeah, they, they gotta look like teens still we're gonna do graduation oh my god all right so let's go put on some party wear i'm gonna give him the outfit that i had on that party outfit so adorable on him so i'm gonna have not him falling asleep on brand on brand for my lazy sim so he's in uh right now university he's also an a student again he's obviously will be whatever school he wants to with the highest degree possible see distinguished degrees so he's gonna be doing i'm not gonna lie i'm still debating i feel like politician is a fun career for zayman to go in again like i said he's quite passionate about stuff and then there is biology which is the distinguished degree and he could do the whole bodybuilder thing which is totally his lane and then also either be a doctor so he's gonna be learning a lot that would help him you know what i'm saying challenges that genius trait of his let's try politician if he doesn't like it we'll always transfer him out and he could oh go to another um like biology oh my god he doesn't have to pay a single dollar wow my boys are brilliant uh, not him gaining 20 <laughs> anyway so let's do for her so i think she's gonna want to do something also that would help with her fashion yeah she's gonna be doing art history so crystal's gonna be doing art history so that she can be either an arts critic a patron of the arts or a trendsetter obviously we know she wants to be a trendsetter but i just wanted to let y'all know so oh they put her in a class for the summer yeah withdraw from the term yeah so let's have them both withdraw from the term because they're gonna be uh doing summer work like i said whereas he's only doing school right now so withdraw from the term yeah withdraw both of y'all need to withdraw there you go but they're both in university so they could take whatever they want i think this party is gonna be untraditional i think i'm in the mood to make it a teen party so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna try to see if i can find any of the other teens that are their friends and then age them up with them the party started i do think it's a good idea for me to have the baby not here actually at the moment for a baby safety you know sims are gonna be acting out yeah um, and then okay so everybody's coming upstairs soon uh i'm so excited the boys are aging up it's again like i never expected this how the series is gonna go that my boys are gonna age up in an apartment that one of them owns and they said baby and oh my god like what let's go put on some hip-hop let's have fun uh music play Lindsay, can you put on that hip-hop <laughs> Why should think about woohoo? Some are just chatting outside. Some are chatting indoors. Oh, neighbors are playing together. They didn't think they'd have enough friendship to do that. That's so cute. I know they did the sleepover thing from last summer but i didn't know that was gonna really bring them closer like it's nice to see that that was there seems they're just watching drama there's not even any drinks for them like you know juice nothing it's just a birthday kid oh my god the baby's crying i'm so sorry cute don't you dare step on my cake excuse you she's like woo it's a party oh there's a party girl in this house let's go blow out that bit candles all right and then oh wait okay M mellow's about to blow out his candles too can he do it through here oh 
Happy birthday, Zayvan and Melo. I am so proud of them. I cannot believe I watched their whole experience, like their whole childhood. And like, oh my God, now they're young adults. Wow. I think I'm gonna go with creative, old fashioned creative style. He's socially awkward, lazy, and creative. And um, at the moment he finished his child aspiration. So I'm gonna give him uh, at the moment, let's see. I think I'm just gonna go with the old-fashioned master actor. Let's go with that. Where is the creative? Yep, master actor. I'm so proud of you guys. I love you. You deserve all the attention on you. A genius. I said he's a genius. I always said he's a genius. Okay, so um, I could have sworn I gave him the bodybuilding one because I feel like during his college years, he's going to be focusing on bodybuilding. <gasps> oh, what? 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 I always said Zayvon is the smartest like his dad. Valedictorian. Wow. Y'all, I need to go up. Well, one second. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Valedictorian. Oh, I need to take a selfie. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> so proud of him i really am of course he's a valedictorian this is friggin rob's son okay and rob don't doubt your son's decision he got this he's gonna eat up the political sphere so y'all i'm gonna go ahead like i said and age the all these kids up just give me a second i'll be back once y'all pro you'll probably see the twirling if not then no, no maybe my game crash all right time for everybody to age up uh, one second, I forgot to do um, Crystal's uh, candles for her birthday, but yeah, I have everybody aging up. They all should start twirling. Yeah, I did it through MC Command Center. Honey, Crystal, why don't you go ahead and... I think perfectionist would be nice, but I feel like she's not a perfectionist because if she was, she would have been very critical of like of a sim in my mind. Like, you know, like, oh, you haven't done this right. You haven't done that right. So I don't think she's that either. I think insider would be good. I feel like Crystal wants to be all about the ins and outs of fashion. So wait, let's try to see if I could find like something about I think popularity. Let's work on popularity then. Yes, world famous stylist. Love that. Let's work on it. Graduation. Congrats. You evil sim. I know he's evil by the way, so I said that. All right, so let's go ahead and call to meal to the sims that are at the event. Um, let's just do it in order of who I see their names. It always makes my life easier. Let's do it like that. And then the next group, let's do that. I know the boys should have a slice each, but you know, we're trying to be like generous hosts. You know, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I like this one. They took their photos. You know, he's like, Alexan, I love you so much. You know, you're you're the girl of my dreams. I adore you. She's like, I adore you too. Let's see. Is she gonna say yes? Let's see. Shannon you married me? Like, oh, yeah, yes, yes. Oh my God, really? It's like, yeah, I want you. To, I want to have more kids with you. I want, I, this life is worth enjoying with you in it. You make all my days happy, even if it's scary and everything. You, you know, yesterday when we had that talk at the university, and you were just so open-minded. I don't understand. Like, if it were me, I don't know if I would be that open-minded. She's like, well, you gotta start being open-minded. I might start making mistakes. I might start effing around, and I need you to be there with me and understanding my journey oh my god he looks older in the face like oh my god who is this this is not a baby she's singing to him oh my god it's like, damn you got a voice on you baby girl like, oh my god i love you and you know they were talking about woohooing so let's let, let them have their moment and woohoo hopefully no babies though minus the babies not him just like looking at her his nails i need a mod that reacts like he should have been like woohoo my brother is engaged he should be like jumping jacks or something you know just happy you okay hon he's feeling okay he's feeling rather happy um we're gonna have to work on that internship for him i have an internship mod and um should i announce it i guess or should i just announce it at the graduation oh you know what 
I'm going to announce it then, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this series. Zayvin will be staying here. I already worked on the finale, to be honest. But I am going to be refilming some parts. Because I just don't like how... I just feel like you deserve better. Like, like we deserve better. Like, as me, even somebody who just watched them grow. As you, somebody who's there with me. Like, we deserve a better finale. Like, I mean, it's really great. Don't get me wrong. But, like, that graduation scene was MTAF. Like, we need a graduation spawn mod ASAP. Because, like, the fact that it was, like kind of empty like mm -mm. again i know i can't control the game but like, i came up with an idea to work around it so if it works then hopefully it's gonna be great for that scene either or i think you're gonna be really happy with what you're gonna see and how their stories end for the high school years and the coming of college years thank you so much for watching my name is sasha and i wish you a lovely lovely day take care